Okay, you and I need to have a little chat now. Here we go. We're going to have a little chat about how to throw a ruler on the floor and then pick it up. And then we're going to look at that ruler next to here. So this is an actual size self-portrait print by Rembrandt Van Rijn. So something like four centimeters, four and a half centimeters that way. I'm doing this one-handed here, that's about five that way. Similarly here we've got about six. These are actual size reproductions of a Rembrandt's print. So down here, can you see that? Something like five centimeters, doing it one-handed. Let's have a look at some more. Some little diddly ones over here. Again, four centimeters. You can tell it's not much bigger the other way. There's five centimeters. This one's a little bit bigger. Let's have a look at him. Okay, six centimeters. You're getting the idea. They're not very big. Not very big at all. Seven centimeters. The head there is going to be quite small. The rest of it's just darkness underneath. Again, five centimeters. Six centimeters by. Anyway, you, you get the idea. I, I can use a ruler one-handed. Look at me. So, you know, impressive stuff. Now, let's just take a look over here somewhere. See what we can see. Put Rembrandt, the Rembrandt book on the floor. Okay, yeah, there we go. There is a face, y'all. And I need the ruler again, just so you know what's going on here. Because I've been asked to use a ruler by some skeptical person in the world here. Let me try very hard. There you go. In the afternoon on um oh, I've got the ruler in the way. There you go, there I am. I wondered why it didn't look very good. Ah, oh, that was good. Anyway, a bit of suspense. It's not working for the man. Then it suddenly works. There it is. This is a copper plate with a soft ground on it, which is what I'm reliably informed uh Rembrandt used approximately. We don't know what he put on his ground, but he used copper plates with a soft ground. I tried it with the uh, hard grounds. I'll show you this thing right, if you touch it with a fingernail, you scratch into it and that becomes a wretch your etching plate. Um, it's very soft ground on the top, so I brought it home from the printmakers yesterday in my little Tupperware. <laughs> I've got two of these little things, and I've got bigger ones as well. They all tell me. Let me just show you the setup as well. So there is the window. It's a little bit overcast, but you've got the sun popping out over there somewhere. The tree gets in the way sometimes. Um, we've got flat mirror, concave mirror, etching plate, board, um, two shoe boxes. I haven't worked out how to make a table easel, this doesn't clamp properly so I can't clamp it on my little etching plate so I'm leaning it against here but the whole thing is wobbly so I ain't gonna etch on it yet, I'm gonna work out a way to make that stable I'll back up so you can see what's going on from a bit further away yeah, very easy setup. there's all the kit and caboodle that I've been trying um, I'll show you something else here while we're here, in fact this one's easier to handle this is one with a smoked ground, this is all new to me, I'm not really an etcher but I. I've been learning so that I can show things to you and we can try this in front I need to move this one that's really delicate this little thing okay one second I'll just try and move this there's me again getting projected you know happy days I wonder how I Rembrandt did his etchings I really wonder sometimes um let's have a look okay let's move that out of the way put it in the little thingy make sure no Stuff gets on that. Cycled back with that yesterday, that was cool. Been cycling back and forth with all this kit in here. Uh, someone's lent me a room which actually works with light. Look at that, how amazing. But see, this one's not quite as good. Can you see that? Let me try this again. It's not quite as good, I don't think. I think there's a reason. It's alright though. It's alright, I'm still there. It's smoked out. You could probably, you can use that actually. It wasn't so good before. I think it's because the sun was behind the tree. I just went home to take some stuff off my phone so that. Or upload it somewhere so that I had space to make this video. But anyway, yeah, you go. You can see that it would work on a hard ground um, with a smoked surface. This is some kind of etching process, which means that I can touch that without it taking off the ground. Um, yeah, so that's that. So for the doubters who thought that, but we don't even know if Rembrandt used that. We're taught, I'm taught, I've read about the thing, and they, they say he used a they say he used a um, soft ground, not hard ground, but you know just in case and here's one without this one is a hard ground without um bear with me here a second okay one second right here you go here is a hard ground with 
no smoke so it's not black this one it's just like a little bit a little bit like the soft ground except it's just a little bit less uh um how can you say uh, not fragile but something like that anyway delicate delicate is the word i was looking for there you go anyway um you can see that one works as well it's just getting the right angle with the phone because the phone's going across my face let me try something here there you go that's, that's something like that i'm a bit out of focus because i'm not in the right place Right, anyway, projections on copper. So all I have to do now, if I can hold that thing...